Now back to the montage. Ow! Oh, that hurt, dude. Why? Oh. What was that for? It's for the vlog. We're filming, bro. That was just your intro. Yes. Did you just call me, bro? We're filming, fam. I'm so tired. I am so tired. I've just been napping. Well, I just filmed that epic montage, and Norman was barking at me, and I, and I had to pretend like he wasn't barking. Look at this. <laughs> Norman's bark used to sound like a little baby crying, and now it sounds like a man yeah. screaming. He sounds like a lone wolf. He's like, oh, oh, oh. Guys, today we dropped Norman off in the groomer. Are you gonna go get cleaned? Hi, bud. Are you ready? Norman's gonna come back looking like a freaking snack. And then we picked him up like this. Norman. Norman. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> no. oh. You look like a bear. And now he freaking looks. So handsome. He looks like a bear. So Danny, what's Hola. on the agenda for today, sis? I have to film a video. Okay. It's pouring rain. When does the video come out, by the way? Tomorrow. <laughs> Danny, it's like five that your video comes out in less than 12 hours. Yeah, I should do my makeup. Can you get my makeup from the car? Yeah, I'm just gonna do a quick cut, ready? Oh. I really don't look different, do I? You do, you have your little, and that little. Oh. <laughs> Guys. While I was doing my makeup, Emin brought in a package that I got from... Go-Go Kind. I'm really excited. Hashtag not sponsored. What's in there? Makeup? They sent me so much. What? Guys, Whoa! Coco Kind is a really sustainable company for skincare. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see what they got. No, I will show you. All right, we got yeah. rose water toner, oil to milk cleanser, glow essence. What is glow essence? Texture smoothing cream, resurfacing sleep mask, pore refining concentrate. This is the best package I've ever received in the mail from anybody ever. Amazing. I'm so happy. Thank you, Coco Kind. Do you actually not know how to wink? No, I just think it's funny when I do this. Wink, wink for real. Wink for real. I am. Is that really your wink? Yeah. Try and do a sexy wink. No, for real. I am. No. <laughs> That's it. I don't, some people can wink like this. Like just blink and what only. What the hell was that? My whole face goes into it. Look, Danny can do it. You can move, you can She's wink like, without moving your whole face. face. Ah. Yeah, I have to do this. Good morning, everybody. We ran out of chargers in our house. Like literally did not have any. Our phones have been dead for so long, just like charging them in the car whenever we can. So Emin decided to take matters into his own hands. We're back. Did I pay $125 for chargers? Yeah. But do I look sick as hell? <laughs> yeah. I used the Coco Kind stuff last night and I wanted to tell you guys about it. I go through so many phases of skincare where like I do stuff and then I do nothing and then I do stuff and whatever. Since I started wearing makeup every day and I've continued that by the way, if you guys saw my video on my personal channel where I talked about doing makeup every single day, I'm doing it now. But I've been washing my makeup off every night obviously because you can't not wash your makeup off because that's nasty. And so since I've been washing my makeup off, this was like a great little transition, like a great little push because like when you're really taking care of your skin, you're not supposed to just like cleanse it and moisturize it like you're supposed to tone it and do other things to it. You don't have to, but like, it's ideal. Man, he's gonna bite you, dude. <laughs> what? The point is, I'm figuring it out and I'm really excited that they sent me that because I started using it in my face. I mean, did you feel my face? Have you noticed my face? No. Feel it, feel how soft it is. You know, you're supposed to have a skincare routine too. There's this YouTuber, his name is Hiram, and you should watch him. He's a man, he doesn't wear makeup, and he has the most beautiful glowing skin in the whole world. I have pretty nice skin. Yeah, imagine if you took care of it. Do you know how much beautiful it would be? Guys, petition to get Emin to do skincare. Does that look straight to you? Mm hmm? Does that look straight to you? I'm hanging up some plants. And guys, I tend to mess things up. For whatever reason, I'm not very, um, I don't have the intelligence in the area of drilling holes into walls. I can write you a great essay. I can talk about politics somewhat. I'd, I'd say I'm pretty smart in some ways, in most ways, but in the way of common sense when it comes to drilling things into walls, I wasn't really gifted with that knowledge. So I tend to uh, make holes where there shouldn't be holes. I tend to do things backwards, upside down, and just generally wrong. So I'm trying to do it on my own. Ooh, a little bit of green, I like it. Does it look good? Yeah. And the plant grows like this. So eventually, the plant will be like this. 
and we just got this today, which we're not sure if we like. I like it, but also there's been a lot of things that I like that turned out to be really ugly, so I'm not really sure. Let us know if it's really ugly. Yeah, comment below, is our shower curtain ugly? And don't just be nice to us, guys, be honest. Is this cool? Would somebody with good sense of design use this? Okay, ooh. Riddle me this. Does this bathroom give you cool, fun, Blue Beetle Beast vibes. Comment below, give us your votes. Ugly or not, keep or toss. Cast your votes below. All right, now I feel like making a salad. YouTubers, but check this out. You know what that means? Don't judge a book by its cover. Yep, birds aren't real. I freaked out about that yesterday because there was a bird and I was like, wait, what if birds aren't real? No, no. And you wanna hear the crazy thing? I looked at the bird and he sat on our air conditioning and I looked at him and the second I looked at him, guy flew away. Anyway, mix that crap up. This is the most intense salad I've ever seen in my entire life. What's up, my guy? You look good. What? Check out the fit, guys. What? Simon's looking smoking hot. We're here for Norman's walk. We kind of slacked on the dog training for a while, but we're back, we got a new collar for him. So there's this park that's like 15 minutes from our house. It's awesome and we never come here and it's perfect for Norman because there's always dogs. Not that he can play with so that he can learn how to calm the hell down. Danny and I want to get a, a new dog so bad. <laughs> Have we told him that yet or not? I don't think so, but like Norman needs a friend really bad. He's a puppy, okay? He yeah. loves to play all day long. And so we're thinking, you know, if we get another dog, then he'd have somebody to play with all day long, you know? Yeah, and I think it'd be good because then when he saw my parents' dogs or just other dogs in general, he wouldn't freak out as much. Yeah. Everybody has told us no. By everybody, you mean like two people. My mom and the dog trainer. But it doesn't matter what people say. It's about what we feel is right for our lives right now. So for some reason at this park, people love to fish. I don't understand why. Like, not that I'm ranking on fishing, but like, it's this tiny lake. I don't know if there are even any fish in here. Apparently there are. There's little patos. But like, do people eat the fish that they fish here? Do they cook them up for dinner? Or do they just like fish because it's relaxing and fun? Like, you see people who you would literally never expect to be fishing. Fishing, like, you know? You expect like father and son, bunch of like country people. Oh my gosh. Throw back to the one time that we saw a woman in a dress and high heels. Yes, it's so weird. Like, people who totally look like they would never go fishing are fishing here. Norman, come on, jump in. Go. Hey, come on, jump in. Let's go. Yay! That wasn't good. All right, now we're back to the casa? Yeah! Good morning. It's like 8 in the morning. Um, Emmy and I just woke up because Norman started barking. And then Edmund's like, oh, someone's at the door. And I was like, what? Someone's at the door? I didn't hear somebody at the door. And then the person at the door pounds on the door, like, pow, 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 really loud. So I got scared. I thought I was about to get murdered or something. I don't think a murderer would pound on your door, but whatever. Anyway, so we go and we get the door, and there's a tree removal company coming to remove a tree in the construction site that we live on, because there's construction always going on in the backyard. They're building a house. So um, yeah, he wasn't very nice. And he's like, can you move your car? I'm, I'm, I'm taking down a tree in the backyard or something. Thing. Yeah, um, I don't feel so good. Not a great start to the day. Guys, check out the bathroom. It's really coming together. I just installed this by myself and I'm very proud of myself. I don't think you guys understand. I could have messed this up really bad and put lots of holes in the wall, but I didn't. So there you have it. A beautiful towel rack. Danny freaking organized the entire bathroom. Danny, are you clothed? Yeah, there's clothes on the floor though. What? I just said you organized it. I was trying I was to just change it. I was trying to give him a tour. Well, just well, Danny organized our cabinets. This is still pretty funky, but in general, we're just trying to save money. But also, I really want to get like little like shelves and also organizers for that. Yeah, so it can basically just like never be messy. Yeah, because I hate just like a plain cabinet with stuff in it. You know, like it's gotta be somewhat organized. I'm gonna go show my oatmeal. So I'm making oatmeal for the first time in my life. But what I did with the oatmeal right now, the milk's boiling. What I did was I got some apples and then I put them in with some butter and honey. What else did I do? A ton of cinnamon. It literally smelled like candy. It was so, so good. And then I put a bunch of oat milk on it. I'm drinking a booch. Strawberry serenity today. We woke up, started cleaning the house. Like, look at the kitchen. Our dishes are right there. They're drying, but... 
Yeah, besides that, it's looking fire. All the floors are mopped. Organize this. And Danny freaking killed it. Killed it with uh, the towel. Oh, shit. That's not good. That's not good. No big deal. Just a little boiling oat milk. We're running hella late. Check out my outfit. Green, <laughs> green, show them the bag, show them the bag. Wow. Because <laughs> I put on pants and then I went to the room and I threw on a shirt and I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> check the mirror. Anyway, check out my outfit. You look good, Em. We are heading to pick up my little brother's car so we can unload the apartment. We're running hella late and Norman is behaving very poorly today. Weird that I'm driving. The vlog has never seen this before. I literally drive every single time. This is basically seeing an extinct animal. This is as rare as seeing a freaking woolly mammoth. When you think of extinct animal, what do you think of? Woolly mammoth. Mammon? Mammoth. Mammoth. No, it's mammoth. 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 I think of that bird, a dodo bird. Yeah, because of Phineas and Ferb. And great white shark. Great white sharks are not extinct, dude. Yeah, but they're not gonna exist after I'm done with them. <laughs> what the hell? Hey. You feel me? Wait, are you filming? <laughs> You're being gross! Oh, I'm not. I'm looking good for the camera. That's how you get views. That's how little Huddy did it. Anyway, guys, we just finished packing. It was like two hours. For the first half, it sucked because it was so hot in our apartment, but Danny didn't do much, but I did a lot. This is what we packed today. This is what we packed, guys. Right now, I'm making Brussels sprouts. My friend Connor, who happens to be the drummer of the band Beartooth, made these Brussels sprouts and I just called him and asked him how to make them. So I'm making an Instagram story and I keep referring to how famous he is because he's in the band Beartooth. By the way, not shade to Beartooth, but I really don't think our followers know who Beartooth is. Whatever. So he just taught me how to make these. I'm super trolling him on Instagram. This is what I'm doing. Roll the clip. First thing we do to make my best friend in the entire world, Connor Dennis of the band Beartooth Brussels sprouts. Guys, next on Connor Dennis, Beartooth, yeah. He's verified on Instagram. Dude, this McDonald's is ruining my aesthetic. Guys, check out our dinner. It doesn't look that good in this video, I'm not gonna lie, but it actually in person smells incredible. So we got Brussels sprouts, the famous Connor Dennis of Beartooth Brussels sprouts. What is the meat? It's called pepper steak, but um, I put a little too much coconut aminos, which is like soy sauce. So it's kind of Asian-y steak. It's pretty good. Mmm, I mean. I'm really not digging your spices this time. Guys, this tastes so good. I know this tastes great. I know that my best friend in the world is in a huge famous band, Beartooth. Shout out to you, Connor. Guys, I can't film anymore. I need to eat. It's so good. 